Hello everyone, I am Elze Ritter, piano instructor from Virginia Centerville and I would like to start my tutorial on the Russian fundamentals of piano technique, the Russian method. So the book is by um, Leon Konus and Olga Konus. Here's long introduction. I might discuss while I, I'll be introducing you to the exercises. However, I would like to start with the first exercise, section one, preparatory exercises, page 13. So you can buy this book, Holy Amart. It's about, what, $16.99. The first exercise, basic movements, silent exercise. Place the tip. Place the tips of the fingers on five keys and slowly raise each finger four times using finger action, but without pressing the keys. So what you're going to do, you're going to have all your five fingers, fingertips on uh, five notes, C, D, E, F, G. Better if you use position not where's the middle C, but higher, one octave higher. So you have this nicely rounded shaped fingers, fingertips on the keys, but you don't play the keys. You just gonna make this fingers movements three times each up and down or let's say four times without pressing the keys slowly raise slowly raise each finger four times you can do and five times you can do and six times however the goal is Keep your hand, keep your arm, keep your fingers very relaxed. If you're going to make some forcing movements, like actions with the force, and you're going to tighten up your muscles, this is not good. Stop doing that. You want to have some good result. First of all, make sure that you are have your hand, arms space out from your body. Don't play like this. Don't exercise like this. This. Make sure you are loose. Your muscles, your everything just loose, relaxed. Not relaxed to the point like like that of course you want to keep shape you want to keep shape again rounded shape like a circle shape like that not like this so many students they like play with hanging down arms which is totally bad we need to have ability to move our arms along the keys and the keyboard. So when you start to learn, make sure you are have loose arms, you have a loose muscles. And when you do this first exercise, don't do like this. Make sure you get the position for the right hand higher, for the left hand lower. So, and this what you're going to do, lift the fingers slowly. So, see how can you control this, each finger motion. Your motion coming here from this bridge. Three, four, five, six times. You can keep practicing this all day alone. So, if you see my left hand, 
positioned like this. The wrist is higher than the keys, not lower, higher. My elbow is elevated like that. If I would play something like this, if I would exercise, doesn't give any, any good learning, any good technique doesn't give you. So this exercise number one. Uh, number two, wrist flexibility. This exercise develops firm contact between fingers and keyboard and promotes wrist relaxation. This is the most difficult for students who already have a old, bad, engraved habits because most of the students who did not learn from the beginning, they have very tense um, wrists and they everything is connected. So they're not too comfortable doing this exercise. And now we basically moving to the next step. After this first exercise, you want to do the second exercise, hopefully, if you just start to learn, it's going to be easier for you. If you are, if you have bad habits, it might be not so easy. So I hope it's going to work out for you. So you put your hand right here, uh, middle C, D, E, F, G. Uh, better if you Again, start with one octave higher and you uh, count until four. There's four actions. Count one and you play the note. Count two, you raise the wrist. Count three, you lower your wrist. And count four, you return to normal hand position. So hand and for form arm level, forearm level. Okay, next note, D, you do the same thing. You count one, you play, one, two. You raise the wrist. Of course, you're gonna raise the wrist without any help of another hand. You just stay loose here and raise the wrist on its own as high as you can. So the point is to see how flexible, how movable your wrist. And number three, you lower wrist, lower than the keys, than the keys level, as low as you can, keeping the key down. And number four, you return to the normal position leveled with the keys. So, and so on, number three, uh, third note is E, so the same thing, one, two, I'm just showing you this, like, lift up, but normally, no, you do on its own, so one more time, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Four and so on, you're going back to C, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Don't forget, uh, you need to play not right here in the middle C position, but one octave higher. So you have a room between the arm and your body. So you can, um, you can, um, you can relax better and you can have a motion when you can rotate the elbow and upper arm is movable. If you like this, you locked, you locked here, you will be locked. And in the wrist, you're going to be locked in the fingers. So make sure you are giving yourself space between the arm and the body. So the same exercise you're going to do with the left hand, starting 
lower than middle C and um, counting the same style one two three four one two three four and if you noticed I play I play legata so my notes are overlapping so you'll see how easy for you to do this overlapping legata one two three four and so on um if you get comfortable you can probably exercise hands together at the same time uh, so this was exercise one and two on silent movement exercise and wrist wrist flexibility exercise the book is fundamentals of piano technique the russian method hopefully someone can use it and i will record more of these exercises thank you for watching